Hello everyone, I'm Akhilesh Kumar Shivasto, and in this lecture we are going to learn about the pumping lemma. So the pumping lemma has a theme that, uh, let's say there is a language L which is regular. And if I pick any string W of uh, this language, and if I take a part of the string, let's say that the W is having the string like this, some X and then followed by some Y, and then some Zs. Let's take an example. Let's say that uh, we have a language A, which says that all strings that ends with one Y, all strings that ends with one one. So if I have uh, the strings, let's say the zero one one is one the, the one string, and let's say zero zero one one is the another string. Let's say zero 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 one one is the another string. And let's say one zero one zero one one is the another string. And then let's say one zero one one is another string. Let's say one zero one zero one zero one zero and one one is another string, and so on and so forth. There can be any number of the string in this language. It means that language is infinite language. So if I pick the zero one one string only, and if I pick one part of this, let's say this is zero only, and let's repeat zero many number of the times. So let's say. That I'm repeating zero seven times. So uh, what I get is zero 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 seven times, and then followed by one one. So what I did that I have pumped this zero part many a times in this string, and even then whatever the string I got, let's say the string is S one, that is the part of the language A. Let's take another example. Let's say I have one zero one one. So let's select the one zero part and let's pump it. So if I pump this uh, uh, one zero string many number of the times, let's say one zero, one zero, one zero, and then one one. So what I did that I have pumped this one zero string many, many number of the times. Let's say this string is S2, then S2 will be the part of the language A. So we are pumping a part of the string or the prefix of the string uh, or a string that we pick from the beginning of uh, the this, this W string or we pick the string somewhere in between. And then also uh, I repeat that part and uh, whatever the string I get, that will be the part of the language. Let's take another example. Let's say I have zero, four times one. Let's say this is zero and I repeat this. Uh, I'm picking this part zero and I'm repeating this multiple times. So let's say I have repeated this six times and then I write one, 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 one. So what happened here that the zero is the part which was pumped many number of the times in the string. And then whatever the string I got, let's say this is S3. This S3 is once again, the part of the language A. So this means that the pumping lemma is telling us that we select a string. And let's say a string is like X, Y, Z type of string. And this X, Y, Z type of string ki jo minimum length hai, wo pump, usko hum pumping length. And uh, usually the, the pumping length is equal to the number of states in the automata, number of states in the automata. For example, whatever we have uh, the language in the hand, if I if we design the automata for this, then the smallest string that will be accepted will be one one. So let's draw the automata for this and then for rest of the transition we can do the transitions like this if i have a zero i should go to q0 state and if i have a one i should remain at q2 state so you can see that the number of states in this language uh, in this finite automata is three so what i selected that the minimum uh, size of the string that of w that we are going to select is let's say let's say that is Three. Okay, so the pumping length will be three minimum. Uh, pumping length will be three maximum. So let's say P is the pumping length and which is three in this case. So what I do that uh, let's select the language zero one one, and in this I have selected this part. Okay, let's say this is this part. In this case, what we are segregating here that this is, let's say, y, and let's say this is z, and x is not here. 
So you can say that the, the length of x can be 0 also, but it can be greater than or equal to 0. But the length of y has to be greater than 0. It means it cannot be 0. Okay, And cumulative length of this x, y should be less than or equal to p. That is the pumping length. Fine. In this case, the x is not here. So the length of the x is 0 and the length of the y is 1. And uh, if I compute x, y raised to the power i, z, it means that I am, let's say, doing x, y raised to the power 4, z. So what does, what does this give you? x is not here. So y is 0. So 0 has got repeated 4 times and I get 1, 1. So this is the string that this is the new string that I get. Let's say this string is S1 and this S1 should be the part of language L and which is there. So we'll say that this language is this, this language is regular. But if this language is not regular, in that case, this condition will not be satisfied. It means that S1 will not be the part of the language. So pumping lemma is usually not used to prove that the language is regular, but it is used to prove that a language is not regular. Okay, so pump, the concept of the pumping lemma is used to prove that a language is not regular. So I hope that you must have got the concept. Let me summarize this. If I have the uh, language L, let's say in hand, so we will first assume that the language is regular. So we will assume that the language is regular. Assume that L is regular. And then what will say that I'll assume a pumping length P P is the pumping length. And then uh, I'll take a string W and I will divide that in three parts. Let's say X, Y, Z. And uh, the three conditions should be satisfied while doing the operations. Let's uh, say that the length of Y should be greater than zero. It means it cannot be zero. Another thing is that uh, the cumulative length of X, Y should be less than or equal to the pumping length P. And the string x, y raised to the power i, z, if I take any power of uh, y and then apply like x, y raised to the power i, z, then this should be the part of language given L. So if I am proving that the language is not regular, then either of these three conditions will fail. So if uh, any of these conditions, usually the last condition will fail because of which will prove that the language is not regular. So this proof is by the contradiction. So this proof is by the contradiction that uh, either of these three conditions will not get satisfied. In that case, I can, I can say that the language is not regular. So uh, let's try to take some examples and uh, let's prove that the language is not regular. And but before that, let me have a diagram which shows that uh, how does the pumping lemma works. So let's say this is the initial state Q0. And then let's say this is the some intermediate state QI. And we'll say that we are actually moving many a times here in the intermediate state. And then let's say there is a final state QF. Okay, so when I move from the initial state to the intermediate state, I'll say that, that I'm pumping some part and let's say when, when I reach to the QI part, let's say this is the pumped state. And after this, we'll when we'll move from the QI to the QF, I'll say that I am in the accepting state. So there are three stages in which the pumping lemma works. One is the part of the pumping stage and the one is the pumped stage. And once the pumping is complete, I'll go to the accepting state. It means we'll go to go towards the final state. So let's take a very simple example to prove that the language is not regular. Let us say that a language is there, L, which says that it is YY. And uh, I'm saying that the Y is the element of 0, 1 star. So मुझे एक language है given है और मुझे ये proof करना है कि ये जो language है वो regular नहीं है. So इसको ये proof करने के लिए कि ये language regular नहीं है, मैं अपनी तरफ से एक pumping length 
पहले एज्यूम कर लेता हूँ पहले मान लेता हूँ मैं सबसे पहले तो ये मानूंगा कि जो लैंग्वेज एल है वो रेगुलर है ये मेरा एजम्पन है कि ये जो मेरी लैंग्वेज है वो रेगुलर है जिसके बाद फिर मैं एक एज्यूम ये करता हूँ कि मेरी जो पंपिंग लेंथ है दैट पंपिंग लेंथ इज लेट से पी एंड देन उसके बाद फिर मैं अपनी तरफ से एक लैंग्वेज मान लेता हूँ और ये जो वाई है उसकी बात मैं करता हूँ लेट से वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो रेस्ट टू द पावर एन वन एंड जीरो रेस्ट टू द पावर एन वन ऑब्वियसली बात है कि अगर ये वाई है तो यही हमारा रिपीट हो रहा है फाइन सो so, अगर लेट से हमने अज्यूम किया है कि पंपिंग लेंथ सेवन है तो मेरा एजम्पन ये है कि जो मैं डी एफ बनाऊंगा उसमें सेवन स्टेट्स होंगे लेट से सो so, अगर उसमें सेवन स्टेट्स हैं तो मैंने मान लिया कि जीरो रेस्ट टू द पावर सेवन वन एंड जीरो रेस्ट टू द पावर सेवन वन ये मेरी स्ट्रिंग है सो वॉट इज दिस स्ट्रिंग लाइक सो जीरो जीरो अगेन जीरो 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 एंड जीरो सेवन टाइम्स एंड देन अ वन देन इसके बाद जीरो 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 एंड अदर जीरो एक और जीरो और एक वन सो दिस इज दी स्ट्रिंग ये दिस इज दी डब्ल्यू स्ट्रिंग इसमें से मैं अपनी तरफ से ज्यूम कर लेता हूँ कि लेट से दी फर्स्ट टू एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस स्ट्रिंग इज एक्स लेट से अनदर थ्री एलिमेंट इज वाई एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट इज जेड After this, uh, let's compute x y raised to the power i z. Or x y raised to the power i z. के लिए मैं मान लेता हूँ कि मैं compute कर रहा हूँ x y raised to the power two z. So it means that the zero zero zero, which is three times, which will get repeated. So this is the x part. The y part, which is zero zero zero, will get repeated two times. So this has got repeated two times, and the rest of the part, which is z, will be written as such. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. So now you can see that this has a total of two, three, five, three, eight, two, ten zeros, and followed by one. And then on the right hand side, there's seven zero followed by one. So it cannot be equal to zero raised to the power n one and zero raised to the power one. Or you can say that this is not in the form of y y. So you will say that let's say this lang this string is w dash. so the w dash will is not the part of the language and so we have actually proven this by the contradiction that since w dash is not the part of the language l so the given language cannot be regular so now uh, another thing is that let's say we have we have uh, taken three conditions so out of the three conditions the length of the y was taken as 3 so which is greater than or equal to 0 sorry greater than 0 which is correct The cumulative length of x y is equal to five y five. This x length is two, and the length of the y is three. So this is also uh, correct. We have to take it less than or equal to p means the pumping length. X y raised to the power i z is not the part of the language L. So we have proven by the contradiction that this language is not regular. So I hope it makes sense, and we will take some more examples in the next lecture to understand. pumping lemma in the depth thanks for watching this video